If you have a Series 3 Apple Watch, but you also wanna give it some Series 5 features, don't worry, I got you covered. As we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the apps you need to download to get some Series 5 features on your Apple Watch Series 3. Let's begin. So a few unique features that stand out that the Series 4 and the Series 5 has is one, it has a built-in native decibel reader, which that could be easily added by downloading a third-party app. Like this app, for instance, this will basically read your decibel levels around you. Now, the basics to this app is really easy. It will just read the decibel levels around you. And based from the reviews, apparently it's pretty accurate. It keeps track of your max as well as your average. And when you exit off the app, the little microphone icon indicates that the app is still up and running. Now we get that microphone icon because this Series 3 is running the beta version of WatchOS 7. And a new feature for WatchOS 7 is the ability to see what app is utilizing the microphone still. So when this icon shows up, it means there's a background app still using the microphone. In our case, it's that decibel reader app. When you tap on it, it'll quickly take you to the application, just like a phone call. So right now it's saying where the decibel levels is switching between these different environments, but there's no notification or anything like that if you've been exposed to it for quite some time. So in case you're at a concert, extremely loud, you've been in there for like several hours, it's, unfortunately it's not gonna send you like a push notification telling you that, hey, if you continue hanging out in this environment, you may possibly suffer some hearing damage. It doesn't do that. But it's the closest thing we have to the decibel reader that's found on the Series 4 and 5. Now, moving along, another exclusive feature. This one's exclusively on the Series 5, and that is the built-in compass. Now, I featured apps in the past that utilize a similar feature, an app that you download that will allow you to use your Apple Watch as a compass. And Compass Deluxe is the app that I found that worked well, well, somewhat well. You'll find out what I mean in a little bit. The app is free to download. You need to download it on your watch and your phone and you need to set it up on your phone first before you can actually start using it on your Apple Watch. Now, unfortunately, this watch is on watchOS 7. So this application isn't fully supported yet because it's just loading nonstop. But what I have done is I went back to my Series 4 Apple Watch, which is this one right here. And since this one doesn't have a built-in compass, that's only exclusive to the Series 5, we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see if it's accurate on a non-equipped compass Apple Watch. So by launching the app, I like the UI. You have these compass faces to choose from. It also does your speed as well, which is really interesting. There's no 3D press option, unfortunately. But when you put it side by side to a device that actually has a built-in compass, like our iPhone, for instance, it's not that accurate, <laughs> unfortunately. Now here I am just rotating around and it's off by a whole lot. Now, there, uh, when you first launch the app, it does give you this message. It's saying that's more accurate when you're outdoors, moving around and such. But even while testing that out, it was close, but still wasn't as accurate like a real compass. But either way, this is an app that it's really challenging to really replicate for the Series 3 Apple Watch. Now, the always on display is exclusive to the Series 5. I was searching high and low, trying clever things to make sure its display always stayed on. I wasn't able to do that. But what I did found was a clever way to import third party watch faces in a way. And this app is called JigPace. You can download it directly off the Apple App Store. And when you launch this app, it gives you access basically to third party watch faces. So every time when we wake up our watch, you see that the Apple Watch watch face stays on. Now, sadly, again, there's no setting to make sure that the watch display stays on at all time because that always on display that's found on the Series 5, it has internal hardware without drawing a lot of power. The LPTO, I believe is what they called it. But either way, let me go ahead and show you the quick rundown on how you can install this app that will basically make it seem like you have multiple custom third-party watch faces. So in the App Store, download this app. I'll have the text right here, type that in, download it on your iPhone. Once you do that, simply launch the app. You need to hit the little plus icon and type in Jig Watch. Uh, here's the text, you can just copy that, it's a lot easier. Hit save, and that's automatically gonna connect to this server. By the time you are connected, the application should already automatically be downloaded on your smartwatch. And then what you gotta do now is go on personal and create a dummy account with them. 
By dummy account, I mean like remember the username and the password so you could log in, but don't use like an actual email address that you actually personally use day to day, like for banking and such. Once you create an account, you can literally browse the many different watch faces they have. They literally have like G-Shock faces and such. And you'll notice some of these watch faces are free and some aren't. Just download the free ones. If you want to purchase one that gets your attention, you could do the transaction with PayPal, I believe. But once you have the watch face that you enjoy, just do that and it's going to send it to your Apple Watch. Now on your Apple Watch, just simply go ahead and launch the app. Let me go ahead and equip this. And there's our custom watch face. Even though we're featuring the Series 3, you could do this on the Series 5 or Series 4 or even older Apple Watches. But I'm just doing this to give the Series 3 an advantage over a stock Series 5 Apple Watch. But once you launch the app, we're still not done. You have to go into your settings real quick. In the settings, just scroll down to general and go to wake screen. On wake screen, scroll down where you see return to clock. Instead of always or after two minutes or after an hour, select after crown press. I believe it's different for watchOS 6. So let me go ahead and pull that out just to verify. So yeah, on watchOS 6, just scroll down where you see on screen race show last app. Just go down to always. Now was that setting changed? As long as the app is running. So yeah, pretty cool, but no always on display, unfortunately. That's something we cannot replicate. Now for the technometer that was added on watchOS 7 for the Series 4 and Series 5, I mean, we could replicate that with a speedometer because isn't that exactly what it does in a way? Just measure speed and it basically allows you to average your rate. Well, this application speedometer will actually measure your distance and your average speed as well as maximum speed. The app is free to download. It doesn't look fancy like the watch face does, but this is a similar tool that you could use. ECG, well, this is interesting. Uh, yeah, there's no way we could replicate this. Don't even bother. Fall detection. This one was actually interesting. There actually is a couple apps that will actually give the Series 3 some type of fall detection. And they have decent reviews. And did I mention they're free? Once you download the app, you have to go on your phone and actually set it up here. Personal use. You can add people on your contacts that you want them to get a hold in case you do fall down. They'll be notified. For this video, I'm just gonna use my bank. <laughs> See what happens. The bank is like gonna freak out. Uh, you can add more. Test fall safety home. Send a notification to your sync bank. Oh, uh, hold on, let me change that. Let me actually change it to a number. So right now it's playing some weird animation. So they can be notified either by an email or a text message. But it requires you to pay a premium subscription if you wanna add more people, more than one person to your contact. So let's go ahead and slide for this alert. It's gonna give us a timer. And it's also playing a loud noise. I hope it doesn't dial 911. What is this? All right, so it also gave me a text message. So let me silent the alarm. So yeah. It not only flashed our flashlight on our phone, but sent us a bunch of text messages as well. Now, let me go ahead and launch the app on our Apple Watch. You can hit test. And it also does the same countdown on our watch as well. And it makes a loud noise. So it's playing that annoying siren as well on our phone. We just hit silent. I'm okay. It sends us a bunch of notification to that number. What did the review say about this app? Because there's no way I could test this without seriously hurting myself. There's a hundred plus reviews about this app and they all seem fairly positive. Peace of mind, it's a waste of money. Some people say it's too sensitive. Some people say do not install. So it's getting mixed reviews. So if I was to rate this right now, I'd probably give it like a 50-50 chance. I wouldn't personally rely on this. I mean, it's really annoying and obnoxious in the place like sirens and such. But ladies and gentlemen, that's full detection for your Series 3. Now the Heptic engine was improved on both the Series 4 and the Series 5. And there's really no way we can improve it on this. But what we can do is download a massage app. And that is exactly what I have right here. So this is a third party app that I downloaded and unfortunately it doesn't support watchOS 7. So we're gonna have to download it on the series four and hopefully it works. So here it is on our series four. All right, well, this app is really disappointing. It doesn't work on both of them. Well, I downloaded a vibrator. I wanted to just make the Apple watch vibrate on demand to give the series three a competitive edge 
against the Series 4 and the Series 5. But an app that I'm really proud of and actually surprisingly works is the hand washing, which was new for a watch OS 7, the Series 4 and the Series 5. Both will automatically detect and begin a 20 second timer as soon as the watch detects that you are watching your hand and will notify you when the 20 seconds is up because that 20 second time is what is known to kill bacteria and germs on your hands. Now there is actually an app on the app store that actually will allow you to do that for the Series 3 Apple Watch and it's free to download. It will actually send you reminders to wash your hands as well and you can actually set it as a complication so next time when you're near a sink and you're about to start washing your hands you can just simply tap on the little raindrop, tap the blue and will actually play sound once you're done washing your hands. So 20 second timer is up It'll notify you and actually will log in that information to your health app too, just like the native one. Now, unfortunately, it's unable to detect that automatically because it doesn't have the auto detection features that the Series 4 and Series 5 have, like the accelerometer and the improved gyroscope. But this is definitely a nifty tool to unlock this similar feature. So if you don't want to download the watchOS 7 beta, this is definitely a clever way to actually start having this feature right away, especially during this time. So yeah, those were the list of apps that you could download to give your Series 3 some Series 5 features. Quick links to everything will be linked in the video description down below, so everything is literally a click away. And if you got some good, useful information out of this video, greatly appreciate if you guys really leave a like, get subscribed for more upcoming Apple Watch videos. If you'd like to see more, check out this video over here. So I go through my favorite features, the tips and tricks. So if you're on the beta and you wanna check out some unique features, go ahead and watch that video. And then this video over here, that's just a video that YouTube is suggesting specifically for you. Feel free to watch that one or this one. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.